Hey, it's Jeremy with Teletone. We're gonna do a quick tutorial today on how to make a beat from scratch using our newest instrument, Tempo. Uh, Tempo is gonna load with the beat already uh, in there with uh, no effects or anything, but let's go ahead and clear it out. You can do that by using the utility menu, clear all beat maker measures. You could also load up the blank NKA file uh, in your beat selection browser. Um, this is going to load up with the, this uh, default kit heavy set. These are some kind of like thicker, heavy samples. Uh, they sound really great. But let's, uh, let's pick a different kit. This close talker one, I know I used it a ton on my beats. Uh, I use this one quite a bit. Let's go ahead and roll with that. Um, so let's go over to the beat maker. And first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold down option, click and drag, and I'm gonna change these subdivisions to two, because that's, I, I usually just end up wanting that anyway. And uh, let's just start drawing in some kicks. The middle C is just gonna trigger that beat. It's great, I'm gonna use this shortcut for the hi-hats, which I almost always do. It's just gonna pull up like a 16th note pattern. Okay, I like that. Let's copy and paste it to the next measure. But let's just make this a slight variation on beat one. Here's beat one. Uh, let's add another kick here, an open hi-hat here. Okay, I like that. Let's go on to beat three. Let's add a clap here, or actually it's a tambourine. There we go. And maybe a, a crash here. I'm just gonna play through this sequence. Let's make this one into a tom just to make it a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and fatten these toms up because I know I'm gonna want to anyway. So let's grab both of these toms. Let's hear this. Okay, I like that for beat three. Let's copy it to beat four. Maybe let's try something different. Maybe a ride happens occasionally. Maybe just on like quarter notes. Let's see. Okay, I like that. And then maybe what if we add a, let's add a 16th note tambourine here. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then usually around six and seven, I start making some fills. Whoops, <laughs> here we go. Copy, paste. Well, let's clear out these hi-hats. You can clear it by just like dragging like that or you can clear it like that. It's like a shortcut that resets the lane. Let's build some intensity here at the end. Yeah, okay, like that. Okay, and then let's do another one here. And this fill seeming just a little too perfect. I'm 
I'm just kind of using fill to like unquantize it so it's not so perfect. Uh, let's hear how we can get in and out of these fills. As I explained in the walkthrough video, if you play legato between these, then you won't lose time. Uh, it won't re-trigger from the downbeat. It'll just like keep in, in step in the sequence. That's pretty great. Um, let's add some uh, effects to this. Yeah, I, I really like this already. Uh, at any point, we could uh, switch the kit up if we wanted to try it with a different kit. This one has a tighter snare, that's pretty great. And it's gonna hold on to the other information, like how we fattened up the toms. It's gonna hold on to all that detail as we switch through the different kits. We'll stick with two. Uh, what else can we do? Um, you know, at this point, we could do more decorative things. You know, uh, on the beats that I made, I typically didn't do a whole lot with spread and tune, uh, mainly because I, I'm, I'm not sure that you want these beats to just load with the hi-hats, you know, panning back and forth and doing crazy stuff. Uh, but if you wanted to do that with your beat, um, here's how you would do that. You would just load up spread, and then you would draw in some kind of pattern um, or, you know, you could split, you could make it to where half the bar is panned left, half the bar is panned right, but then you would control that um, by checking this and then using your mod wheel, and then as the beat plays, you could, uh, you could make this do some more panning stuff. So if you listen, Or if you wanted to, yeah, get a little more crazy with it, you could, uh, yeah, just make a pattern. Kind of fades in and out. And really, if I, if, we, if I wanted to do something like this, I would typically start it on the first measure and copy it all the way through, which I'm not gonna do right now. You could do something with tune for the ride if you wanted. And we could even do a little bit of spread with this one, tune with this one, and you'll kind of watch and hear what's happening. And then of course, at any point, you can check off uh, so, or check some of these buttons and mess with these. And Chaos works a lot better if you have your playhead moving. And I guess the last thing you could do is if you wanted to save your beat when you're done, I usually put the BPM, you know, first, whatever the tempo is, and then it makes it easier to remember. And then it will save your beat into the user beats folder, which is right here. Uh, this is where all of yours will go. Uh, you can load from there. And then you can also, uh, like after you've saved it, if you make alterations to it, then uh, you can just save it again and it will override what you had there. Uh, but that is basically it. That is how you make a beat from scratch using tempo. I hope this was helpful.